Okay, so we're going to set up our project. So select new STM32 project. This might take a little bit of time if it's the first time you've run this. Eventually the board selector will appear, so select the board. We want the STM32 F769 Disco 0. And just click next. Enter your project name. And then just click finish. Just initialize all peripherals to their default values. And what we want to do is disable some of the onboard peripherals. So initially just click no for the uh, default code because we're going to generate the code after we've sorted the peripherals out. So go to system core and switch off the uh, watchdogs. So there are two of those. And go down to connectivity and we need to disable the SD card otherwise the system will hang. Then within multimedia um, there's nothing at this stage um, to set up because we're just going to play around with the GPIO. So disable FreeRTOS, we're not going to use FreeRTOS at the moment. And next we're going to set up a GPIO pin. So we want to um, select a pin that is um, connected to the Arduino header, D0. So this exists on a, a pin a PC7. So what we're going to do is look around for PC7. And this is currently associated with the uh, the USART because it's um, has obviously each pin can have multifunction. So we highlight that pin, and we want to um, turn PC7 into a general purpose I/O pin. So if you select the pin and use GPIO output, that will then configure that pin as a GPIO output. And we want to do is um, create a user label because the user label will be deleted. Um, so we're going to call that ard underscore d0. And that's all the hardware configuration. So if we file save now, what that will do is auto generate code for us. Okay, and over on the left-hand side in the Project Explorer, if you look in core, in the source, you will see there's a main.c file that's been created. And in that file, with the peripherals that we've enabled or disabled, there are data types that have been created. There's also some static functions for initializing those peripherals. So all this has been inserted for us by the uh, STM IDE. You'll also notice that there are some certain code comments. So user code begin while etc so we can only enter code between these comments it's really important because if you ever do any configuration again and you then automatically generate some code this will mean that whatever code you enter as long as you enter it in between the comments it will be um, saved so here I've added code how GPIO, GPIO write pin and HAL delay in order to toggle the ARD D0 pin that we've just set up in the hardware configuration. Note that GPIOC is the GPIO port effectively where the ARD D0 pin exists or the GPIO pin PC7 exists. So if you select build now the code with no errors is ready to flash to the device. We do that by clicking the run button. 